What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel again. It's me of course, the crypto enthusiast Light Liger here and today I'm gonna be presenting you my top 15 tokens for 2019 and it goes without saying I am not a financial advisor all the opinions here are my own I have not been endorsed by anyone while making this list and also all the tokens on this list are in random order so the 15th token on this list is not any worse than the first one on the list and I'm planning to do a separate coin list for 2019 as well but today we're going to be talking about tokens so let's get started. The first one on the list is probably the most known project also. It's called Substratum. It's an ERC20 token. And it's this like a VPN 2.0 essentially. And it's supposed to launch like this December or early on next January. And how this exactly works. I'm trying to explain this best as I can. I'm not a very tech savvy person when it comes to the networking stuff. So essentially you host a node in your computer and this node will be connected to other nodes around the world creating this sort of a new network and people who are using uh, the, the service are able to you know access uh, different websites okay so in China where YouTube, Google, many sites are banned and when people use VPNs to, you know, unblock it, the Chinese government will just ban the VPN. This cannot be done with Substratum because the node is kind of serving a new IP all the time. So the government can't actually like do anything about it. And this means that um, people in Russia are able to access Telegram and etc. So this is, you know, stopping censorship in a one way. And it's also like... Uh, giving a VPN service to the people and you will get substratum by hosting and also you can like buy the service and that will pay you substratum but you always will supposedly get more substratum from hosting and more than you pay so paying is a bit cheaper than getting the substratum so the potential here is that it only has <clears throat> already has figure out this financial model which is the important part you always need to have why do I need it and where do I need it okay so you have to have the purchase order and you have to also the reason to you know get it okay to sell it and a lot of coins are you know they're easy to get but there's no reason to like use them anywhere you know except you know changing them while they're you know higher value moving on into a very similar project this is called gladius this is also an erc20 token and it works in a somewhat similar fashion to uh substratum it has a bit of a different purpose so what you do is you join a pool where you're essentially giving your internet bandwidth and most of the time people are not really using their upload speed on their computers. I mean, I am when I upload videos to YouTube, but for the most part, I don't really need it. So what can I do is I can lease my, you know, internet speed, upload speed to other people. So they will have, you know, a better internet and you will get paid Gladius for doing that. And that's a really interesting thing. So you essentially... Um, earn Cladius tokens by contributing to the bandwidth pool and that is very nice and obviously people need Cladius to buy better internet and obviously it's probably going to be always cheaper to buy Cladius instead of going with some expensive internet packages like in US for example very expensive packages there and in some parts of um, <clears throat> the world so this is very similar but it works in a different manner from um, <clears throat> from um, Substratum. And then we have the third one called Privatex, which is also an ERC-20 token. This uh, works a bit more as a VPN service, and it is a very similar to the two other ones. And, you know, essentially, it is a 100% autonomous peer-to-peer -peer VPN network on the blockchain and, you know, unused bandwidth monetizations and, you know, you get to visit websites in a proxy and etc. And there's obviously demand for something like this. And I could even believe that these are going to be taking a huge chunk from the existing VPN markets. I, I really believe so. And which one of these three are going to survive? It's really hard to say, but I think at least Substratum and then either one of Privatex or Cladius 
And it's now really, uh, you know, racing game, which one will come fast. Uh, both uh, Primatics and Gladius are in alphas right now. But let's move on. We have, well, this is actually the most known token here. I mean, goes without saying, basic attention token, the bat is a really promising project. And people who are not familiar with what this is, well, essentially, you know, you install the Brave browser, which is using the bat attention token, and it will distribute bats based on the websites you visit who have enabled bats. So essentially, you can give me bats, by the way, why, by watching this video right now, you might be giving them to me, okay? You can blacklist websites and users, obviously. And in future, in 2019, they're going to be launching the Brave ads, so you will get money by viewing ads on the browser, okay? You can make up to $90 a year. And that's a huge game changer in places like Africa, okay? And there might be some, you know, region marketing there. And you can also disable the ads if you don't want the money. But this is an ecosystem that is there to bring, you know, websites more money, essentially, kind of like BitTube. Moving on, we have Asobi coin, which is still in ICO. And... The growth sale is still ongoing and you can join it. This is another ERC20 token on the list. And what is this essentially is, is Asobi coin is a in-game item in purchase. You know, so when they're in-game items in like MMOs or dungeon crawler games, you can use in-game currency, which will be tied into the Asobi coin. And, you know, people who have played World of Warcraft, RuneScape, League of Legends, they know that these currencies inside these games, they, they, some people sell them. People farm in China to sell those coins. And that, that's a, like a real business. While it not, may not be the biggest one in the world right now, it will grow. And Asobi uh, has already partnered with so many, you know, platforms already on the market. They will also have like some ebooks, software, music, e-tickets, a lot of stuff here. And they partner with Naga, which is another ERC-20 token. And there's a lot of gaming companies, uh, you know, in the business, there's the Business Alliance and the media. There are a lot of like big players in the project working on this and they have direct access to many games, many MMOs right now, which are promising. A lot of the gaming based tokens uh, have not done this and there are games that are running on blockchain, but the games are very shit. These guys have like real games, you know, which are going to be very, very, you know, big. So th this is probably the most promising gaming token out there. I just believe because the sheer volume of the games and Japanese studios involved with this project, it's going to be huge. I think so. But there's a lot of other gaming tokens, so it's going to be a tough battle. Moving on, we have the Tita token, which has been just announcing partnership with Tencent, which is a huge company in China, uh, owns League of Legends. It's very, very big, okay? And this bumped up the price of Theta quite a lot. And Theta is an esports token. It's kind of like this sort of, um, well, I'm going to show you one of the services called Sliver. And in this service, you can um, go watch streams. There are Twitch streams right now, which... I believe there's going to be more streams in the future and you can like vote on this site and there's like these raffles going on all the time and also daily rewards by logging in and you can use my referral code if you want to and you will get these every time you vote you will get a chest and let's go open one of these chests here and essentially you will get different rewards there are physical rewards um, like games, mouse mouse and keyboards, uh, merch, and then there's also the Theta tokens, which you can also get inside. Uh, there are many different goals and, you know, things you can get. Only problem here is, as for now, you can't withdraw the Theta tokens that you get from the platform. But you can only spend it, spend it inside the platform. If there's more, like, you know... Uh, rioting against the system, May maybe eventually they will allow people to uh, withdraw the Theta tokens, but you can obviously buy the Theta tokens uh, from the market as well. 
and it's a you know a great place uh, they also have this bandwidth sharing thing uh, which is tied into another currency known as Gamma, which is still in beta. And what this means is essentially like when people stream, they will have higher bandwidth because you're sharing uh, your uh, bandwidth to them. But let's move on. We have Upfiring, which is very, very promising project. So most of these things have been about internet sharing. This is a P2P file sharing. So this is a torrenting thing and obviously Tron is working on their own but I think Tron has been a bit sketchy and a bit questionable on their things. This one is probably going to be launching very very soon in 2019 and okay I, I download a torrent let's say a movie it doesn't have to be legal it can be legal uh, torrent as well and then when you distribute it you see the torrent you will get um, the upfire or up up for uh, tokens and it was you can get to sell them um, where do you spend the tokens I don't know uh, that's a good question I, I haven't really looked into it much but it's already like valued at four cents and I think this is gonna be very very interesting and I also personally gonna be using this one and it's gonna be a very promising project I have to look more into it where do I actually need the tokens where I spend them because there has to be always, I mean, it's easy to build a system that's going to give free stuff. But where I use this that free stuff, where, where do I need this specific coin or token to spend? That's the question. Then we have our first dividend token in the list and the last. I have made an article on my website about dividend tokens, bunch of them. And you should look into that because there's very... A promising Spectra is an upcoming uh, regulated progress financial trading platform. And this is an ERC-20 token as well. And the thing about this, when you hold the Spectra dividend tokens, they have utility tokens and dividend tokens, you will get paid in Ethereum in a weekly basis. Okay, and I own like 200 tokens right now. And I'm just going to probably buy more to get those Ethereum dividends on a weekly basis. However, you need to do KYC uh, with the platform to get those dividends, just so you know. And I think th there's not really anything super special, I guess, about the Spectre platform. In my point of view, it doesn't seem like too uh, different from what we've seen before. But obviously, major partners here. And I like the dividend model. That's why I'm in it. Um, Moving on, we have Kin, and Kin is a very big wild horse or dark horse for the next year. It's interesting because it operates both on the Stellar blockchain and also on the Ethereum blockchain. So it's in two different blockchains. And the Kin token is valued very, very low. But the thing is, it's this sort of a foundation which includes a lot of dApps and apps essentially that are decentralized. And they can be, you know, it's, that those are the important thing because those bring the value to Ethereum and Stellar and all these, uh, uh, you know, programs that allow tokens in their platform because the thing is, once you will get that one dApp, okay, that's going to be the next Facebook, you're going to be a billionaire at that point. Yeah, you're going to be a billionaire at that point. I mean, uh, it's just a matter of time and some of their, like, kick, I think it's called, is uh, relatively popular already, and you will get these tokens by using these, uh, you know, uh, apps that they have. And there's many of them. We don't have time to go into all of them, but it's a very underrated project. Many people have said this and agree with me. And uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how it develops in the future. Moving on, we have Veracity which is a platform where you can actually watch ICO videos and you will get paid tokens for doing that. And that's in the Genesis player, okay? And it is essentially this new token. There's also ERC-20 and it's proof of view. So it will, the audience, it will know like, verify, verify if the audience is watching the video essentially. And this technology can be implemented in many different things. I think there's a video like here and you can you can see like you can donate to this person how much of Vera you want to donate to him and you can play the video and um, it's interesting and this is this the wallet that you can see here and here you can see 
well, this is not a link to my account here, but it would show you the ICOs that you have watched and the rewards that are pending and you will get. And I think there's a lot of integration potential with this technology that they have. They also have a video platform coming on, which is called, I think it's uh, not, yeah, Veracity. This is the one that they're having in crypto now. Yeah, that's the one where you can get these ICO drops essentially. And this one is very promising project right now. And uh, there's going to be, there's a lot of already these uh, crypto video platforms already. And some of them have something good going on for them and some of them don't. But Veracity has technology, which is interesting, even though that their own platform may not succeed. So moving on, we have another gaming based um, uh, token. This is actually in Stratis. This is not on ERC20 token, this is called DStream. I personally uh, participated on the ICO and this is essentially a streaming uh, donation thing. And here they kind of explain the uh, low fees. So every time you send money, it's 0.77% uh, on streamers. And when you actually send money on PayPal or Bitcoin or any other crypto, there's a lot of fees on those donations, you know? So, uh, you don't want that. That's where the DStream comes along. And, you know, they have already been platform will be integrated on YouTube, Twitch, Africa, Mixer. That's a very, you know, good lineup already there. And DStream is going to be very interesting. And it's also a proof of stake. So once you hold it, you can hold it on your wallet and you will get more uh, DStream to give out. So it's it's something that, you know, it's it's a good thing. And I think it's a very impressive uh, project. There's a lot of these esports tokens already, obviously, but this is a very unique one out of the walls uh, that I've seen. And uh, the proof of stake aspect really intrigues me. Then we have one called Honeybox, which is another internet based thing. And this is uh, essentially a box that you will get a device, physical device, which you buy and you connect it to your router and essentially it will give you faster internet. It will stop tracking and it will do a bunch of stuff. You know, you can look more details about the device. Essentially there's crypto earnings by using this device, tracker blocking, faster internet speed, authentications and VPN integration also. And the Honeybox is, um, as I said, it's on the Lumen, Stellar Lumens uh, blockchain. Uh, and it's an interesting project. I It's going to be interesting how much it's going to be cost. I remember asking them and it was like $100 maybe. So uh, it's going to be a lot on how many people are going to actually getting it, okay? But internet security is going to be a growing thing and we have a lot of these things. And, you know, maybe someone can offer all these services without that device, maybe. Moving on uh, to the second, la well, the last project here in, in, in this list, which is from the creators of Wikipedia called Everypedia. It's a bit underrated project also. This is like pretty much new Wikipedia on blockchain. And it's from the founders of Wikipedia and Genius.com. And essentially by contributing to the platform, like writing stuff here, let's see, like let's search Ethereum. Let's see if we can find here, we can find an article here and it's pretty detailed stuff here. It, it gives you a lot of information about it. And this is like kind of like the new thing that they're kind of going for. And um, let's see, you show you the side panel here. Um, so you can like click here, uses and it you know, skips is much better than the, the layout of Wikipedia. Wikipedia has become uh, a lot more well, political propaganda, to be honest, as of late. So I don't trust them really anymore. It's not a very reliable source anymore. But I think the whole, you have the links here and here and better layout and also like by contributing, you will get money and they have their monetization model. Wikipedia is like, what the fuck is the CEO's name? Jimmy Whale or something. And he's bitching, well, give us some money. We're well, poor. We don't have ads. I don't give a fuck about you. I want to give you a fucking penny for uh, writing propaganda news. You get my, get your money from Hillary Clinton, <laughs> uh, motherfucker. But yeah, and as an extra, we have another ERC20 call, token called Phonium Go, which is a proof of time um, based 
so app so you install it and you will get phonium and there's probably like some of these dumb rewards that you do on the app and dumb dumb quests that you do on the app and you will get more phonium it's kind of like you know essentially electronium alternative and the better thing about it is obviously you don't need to do a fucking kyc you know no kyc kyc on this one but that pretty much concludes my list obviously there are many 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 uh, promising erc tokens out there and you know it's just a question which ones are going to be successful, which are not going to be successful. Even though the, their value may not be, you know, $50 or high dollars, it doesn't mean that they are worthless. But BAT is going to, you know, going to stay on the market because Brave is going to bring money to the people. There's going to be always some value to Brave, okay? There's uh, so, some value to all of these projects, you know, in a way or another, okay? And I want to wrap up it here sorry for making it this long but i thought the context is important uh stay tuned for the coin video there's probably going to be top 10 coins it seems the 15 is a bit too long of a video but um you can find all the links down below and i wish you used the links down below because you know referrals you know i gotta get my money too <laughs> so i appreciate using my referral codes if you plan to use them um thanks for watching i will see you guys next time cheers